The stars in the universe are countless in number. They have been shining for billions of years and will continue to shine for billions more. Stars are in fact responsible for life on Earth as we know it. Humans are carbon-based, and carbon is fused in the processes that take place in stars. The Earth itself is made out of things like iron, oxygen, silicon, and magnesium, all of which are fused from the processes that take place in stars. There's, in fact, a very special star to us humans, which we happen to call the sun. The sun produces a lot of energy, fusing nearly 600 million tons of hydrogen every second. Plants, insects, animals, birds, and even humans could not survive on Earth without its stability. Now, you may already realize that the sun is very important for life on Earth. What you may not know, though, is that the sun will also very likely be the destruction of all life on Earth. Now, it really is burning 600 million tons of hydrogen every second, and eventually it's going to fuse all of its hydrogen into helium. And when this happens, the sun undergoes a change on the inside. And this change happens because it's burned through nearly all of the hydrogen in its core and turned it into helium. And it now has to start burning hydrogen on the outer part of the core. And in order to remain in equilibrium or in balance, it's going to have to increase in size since the hydrogen on its core going to be pushing the outer layers of gas much more than the inner part of the core was. And the core of the star goes through some more transitions, which ends up making the star get even bigger. And it's going to make the sun so big, it's predicted to even swallow the earth. With the earth getting roasted with temperatures up to 5,000 Kelvin, which if you convert to Celsius or Fahrenheit, you get temperatures that are really hot and if humans are still around we're gonna have to take off and go somewhere else if we want to survive as the sun probably will not get so large as to completely envelop mars let's say that humans have the technology to actually make it and survive on mars even with the sun as a red giant those humans on mars are going to see some pretty interesting things from the sun because as the sun burns more and more of its helium core it will eventually only be left with carbon and oxygen in its core but in order to burn an oxygen and carbon core the sun needs to be around 10 times bigger which means that the only option left for fusion is to burn helium on the outside of that oxygen and carbon core and if you remember what happened when the sun burned hydrogen on the outside of its core, it turned into a red giant. And it had to do that to remain in equilibrium. But with helium on the outside now, it's not going to be able to remain in equilibrium. And it's actually going to blow off the rest of its gas into space. And it will do this until it's basically left with just a very dense oxygen carbon core which we call a white dwarf and will be surrounded by a very colorful planetary nebula which consists of the gas that our sun ejected during the last phases of its life now because a white dwarf is the core of the star it's much much hotter than the red giant was but it's also much much smaller so it's much darker. And honestly, they're a little more boring than red giant stars. They just kind of cool off during the next bajillion eons, and eventually they'll go dark. With this white dwarf state being basically the last stage of our sun, it will just continue to cool until we can no longer see it. If you liked the video, I hope you leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions about things you would like me to animate and 
I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.